Assalamu alaikum. There are so many things that the person is going through in his lifetime and we're looking for ways to open them up, to give advice to every situation. There is a general rule that um, really depends in your own self-esteem that you are going to believe in yourself that you're also worthy to serve Hashem, to connect yourself to the Creator. Every person is enjoying in this world from a private individual supervision on his life. And the Creator is making sure to speak with you in your own language, from your inside. And He's sending messages to you in supervision from outside, through people, through life situations, through movies, conversations, phone calls, and also from inside through your senses, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts. Now the person must not doubt those messages, he must listen and be tuned with a very high level of self-awareness to the voice, to the voice of Hashem. But of course that it's very hard to tell and sometimes a person can make mistakes on recognizing the right voice. How will I know from all my thoughts which thought is the thought that Hashem sent me? How will I know from all the occasions and situations in my life which is the situation that Hashem wants me to be tuned to or which one to ignore? How will I know if the voice is an inner good inclination of mine, a voice that comes out from my soul or that it's an evil inclination voice that is rejecting me, God forbid, and bringing, planting confusions in the thought of a person. So the person should understand that the one we believe in him, he is the good. He is the source of light. He is goodness itself. He is the one who wants us to believe in him, to trust him, to follow him. He is the one that is promising to us that he will stand by our side if we will be righteous, be pure, be good, be kind to each other, be nice, be whatever. All those good things, using our good attributes, becoming good people, righteous people, honest and truthful and loyal, trustworthy. And the evil inclination, the Yetzirara of all of us, is the power that holds us back, that blocks the light, that rejects us from believing in ourselves and destroying our self-esteem, pushing the person to hate himself, to blame himself, to be sad, to be depressed, to, be, to feel lonely, to lose hope, not to have faith, all day long to be angry, upset and depressed, terrified, terrorized. So we need to put those two kinds of powers in front of our eyes and always to try to relate the situations and the thoughts and feelings of our lives to one of those two. Because in any life situation, you're always facing only two options. You can or choose life or give up on life. You can only choose one out of two. There is no way in the world that you will have three options. It's always or right or wrong, or right or left, or true or false, to do or not to do. It's always yes or no. There is only one option that is positive in that situation and one that is negative. Always. It's a rule of life. That's the way creation works. There is no way in the world that you will stand in front of three options. And even if you have three suggestions, you need to choose 
one. So every time that you consider one of those three, you're standing in front of two. Yes or no on that. Yes or no on that. Yes or no on that. So it's always one out of two. So you need to ask yourself in this situation if that choice will bring you to a place of happiness, to a place of growth, to a place of finding inner sources of power, of happiness, of satisfaction. Is it the right thing to do, the honest thing to do, an expression of kindness, of goodness? And when you ask yourself those questions and you try to ask yourself, what is my motive? Like, where am I trying to reach? Am I being followed? Am I being pushed by my fears or by my goodwill, by my good desires to do good, to improve, to take responsibility? Or that I'm slacking now, that I'm falling, that I'm failing, that I'm weak, that I'm expressing my sadness, my depression, my fears, my anxieties. After you asked yourself what to choose and you chose right, you chose one of the positive way of thinking and not one of the negative ones, because in any situation it will be different. So after you chose, now you need to count on Hashem that Hashem will be there for you. Like that is promised in the Torah, in the verses by the prophets and like we saw in life, that the maker of the universe is always by the side of the righteous ones. So we just need to aim ourselves to be on that side as well, to choose out of that place of goodness. And Hashem is close to every person who is calling Him with truth. Means that when you're truthful, even if you don't know the answer, and you just do the best that you can to be truthful, to be honest, and to try to do the best that you can, it's already more than enough that Hashem will stand by your side and will support and back you up and do whatever it needs to for your eternal success to take place and to be revealed. It is simply in our hands to improve and to grow and to reach high levels and all our destinies and goals in life. We just need never to back off, never to give up and to allow ourselves to bend our heads sometimes, to surrender, to understand that even your enemies, even people around you that are attacking you, they also suffer. They also go through certain things in life that makes them slow you down. It doesn't mean that you need to accept other people's trash, but you should be able to recognize that not everything that you go through in life is especially against you and coming to destroy you. We need to put things into proportion and to understand that the great supervision of our Maker is so perfect and so complete. that we just need a little bit more patience to observe and to find the language, the message that the Creator is sending us, to try to understand what He really meant to teach us in that situation and to try to grasp as much as we can from the great light of His kindness that is shining and being poured upon us and cleansing and purifying us from within in any step of the way. And if you find it hard to choose and to understand, you can always pray, please Hashem, let me understand the message. Please Hashem, allow me to understand what you are trying to teach me. What was the message? What was the lesson? And with time, things will be clarified more and more and we shall all find all the answers to all our life questions. Amen.